Busani FM's Prime News at 6. India's largest festival, Holi, hosted by India in Korea and supported by the Busan Foundation for International Cooperation, will be held at Hyundai Beach on April 3rd. The sixth Holi festival in Hyundai welcomes the arrival of spring and the new year in March, according to the Hindu calendar. There will be a variety of fun events, including body painting, Indian traditional dancing, body washing in the sea, and more. Some 1,500 citizens and foreigners attended last year's festival. Anyone who wishes to participate can fill out an application on the Indian Holly Association's website. Yesterday was the first day for candidate registrations for the April 13th national elections. Some 48 people registered as a candidate in a total of 18 election districts of Busan with a competition ratio of 2.7 to 1. The closing time for candidate registrations is until 6 p.m. today and the real election campaigning starts on the 31st. From April 5th to the 8th, the onboard voting for sailors that can vote by fax will be conducted for the first time in the national election. In addition, there will be an early voting period in the national election in which anyone with an ID card can vote before Election Day in some 205 polling places in Busan. While the national scale opposition parties alliance has failed, the unification of opposition parties has already been achieved or is being pushed forward one after another in Busan and Gyeongnam. The candidate of the Minju Party, Che In-ho, and the candidate of the National Party, Che Min-ho, are both running for election in the Sahagap of Busan and held a joint press conference yesterday to agree on a single candidate. Ho sung mu of the Minju Party and Do chan of the Justice Party in Changwon Seongsan had a discussion and agreed to decide on a single candidate for the district by 5 p.m. on the 29th with help from a public opinion poll. The former director of the Pusan International Film Festival, or BIF, Lee Yong Gwan, came into questioning yesterday morning and didn't return home until early this morning after receiving an intensive prosecution lasting over 17 hours. The two criminal investigation departments of the Pusan District Public Prosecutor's Office have been investigating allegations of Mr. Yi on bad execution of government subsidies for BIF since 9.30 a.m. yesterday. The city of Busan filed complaints against three people, including Yi yong the former director of BIF, and both former and present secretary generals last year based on inspection results from the Board of Audit and Inspection of Korea. The branch of the National Assembly Library will be opened in Myeongji International New City in Gangseo-gu in 2021. An official from the city of Busan said it will sign the business agreement on the successful establishment of the branch of the National Assembly Library attended by Cheong Yi-hwa, the chairman of the National Assembly, Seo byung su the mayor of Busan, and Park hyung jun the secretary general of the National Assembly. The investigation on the general planning for the branch of the National Assembly Library will be completed this July, and the public invitation for design company will begin in August. Construction will begin in June of 2018 and will be completed by the end of 2020. The expected opening day of the library is February of 2021. Cherry blossoms began to bloom yesterday in Namchondong, the representative urban cherry blossoms habitat of Busan, a whole two days earlier than last year. Five cherry trees in front of Namcheon Idong Community Service Center began to flourish at the same time yesterday afternoon, according to an official from the Busan Regional Meteorological Administration. This year, the cherry blossoms arrived a whole two days earlier than last year and four days earlier than usual. The weather agency analyzed that the reasons for the earlier flowering time compared to last year was that the average temperature this March was 9.4 degrees, about one degree higher than last year. The Busan and Gyeongnam branch of the Korea Venture Business Women's Association marked the 10th anniversary of its founding by hosting a celebration yesterday. The branch of the association consists of some 50 members and was established in 2006. The Representative Business Women's Association strives to develop local industry and cultivate local venture ecosystems. 
In yesterday's celebration, the association delivered a 10 million won scholarship to Dongmyeong University.